What is up my new Vim friends? Today I'm going to show you a few tools that I've been using that have helped my workflow and a couple of plugins that I use inside of NeoVim for chatting with AI or for auto completion and then a couple of extensions inside of the tool Raycast which I really need to make some more videos on this. It's a really really cool tool but I'll show you what I've been using and hopefully this will spark some conversation and you can learn some things from me and I can learn some things from you. So let's jump into it and I'll show you three different AI tools that I've been using in my workflow. All right, the first tool I've been using is called Codium. And what I like about this is you can do really fast autocomplete within whatever programming language you're using. I've been doing a lot of Golang and so I've got a lot of really good use for seeing different variations of ways to implement something in Golang. What I also like about Codium is it's free forever for an individual. So you can go sign up and you can get an API key and basically connect it into NeoVim. The way that I've done that is using this plugin right here, which is from Exafunction and Codium.invim. I've basically created a new plugin file with this configuration. And if you haven't seen how I've done some of my own configuration inside of NeoVim, check out this video in the top right and it'll show you the structure for how I broke plugins out. For this plugin, we have set three different key maps. So we have control G to accept or autocomplete whatever the suggestion is from the AI. To clear it, we'll do control X. And then to go through the different options, we'll use control and square bracket. You can use which key to make sure that you don't have any conflicts with these key maps, or you can search using telescope. So for me, if I do FK, then I can see the different key maps that I already have mapped and make sure I don't have any conflicts. Let's see this in action. And so if we go into insert mode, we'll automatically see that this is going to autocomplete with something. If we wanted to accept it, then we would do control G. If we did not want to accept it, so let's do this again and let it autocomplete. We can do control and square bracket, and this is going to iterate through all the different options. If we want to clear it, then control X and that will clear it. I also added this snippet about having the file type of markdown be ignored because whenever I'm editing my notes, I usually don't want this to autocomplete. So this is for me for whenever I'm editing notes, but everything else you can have autocomplete. Whenever you have this plugin installed, you'll need to authenticate with Codium and get that token like I mentioned before. So to do that, you can do Codium and auth, and then this will prompt you and open up a browser window for Getting this actual token, you can copy it into here and then it will authenticate. The next plugin I want to talk about is gp.invim. And I use this to chat with Olama on my local machine and have different chats. So if we open up a new chat, so we do gp chat new, and this will open up a new chat window. We can say, you know, what is the meaning of life or something, or maybe something simpler like what is one plus one. And if we do control G twice, then this will answer our question. And once it's done figuring out the really complex math of one plus one, we have our answer of two, and we can either delete this chat or we can create a new one. If we did control G and C, then we get a new chat, which is totally different from our old one. So if we did back in our buffer, we can see that we have this other one that our existing chat. If we look for other ones, then we do GP chat finder, and we can see that we have two different chats that we've asked a simple math question or this new one that we just created. The nice thing about this is it's inside of a different buffer. And so if you do a split and you go back to wherever you were coding, then you can copy things in from your code and have a nice chat with your different AI tool if you wanted to use different agents. So for this one, I'm using this Olama 3.1 with a specific system prompt. And for this, I will leave a link to my configuration in the description so you don't have to try and copy all this yourself. I will mention that you do have to set something for this OpenAI API key. I set this to null because I don't use it in my NeoVim instance, but you do have to have it even if you're only using Olama. So heads up on that. But you can copy things over. If you wanted to do something like change the agent and you actually wanted to use OpenAI, then you can do GP next agent and it'll change the top right hand there. I'm getting a notification and you can rotate through these chat GPT four or Olama three or our custom one, which is Llama 3.1. So use whatever agent you want to. And this is a nice way to use multiple at different times and be able to switch to them very quickly. If we wanted to delete this chat, then we can do control G and D and it'll prompt us to say, Hey, do you want to delete this? And we'll say yes. And it'll go away. And we're back to where we had that new chat. We could delete this one as well, delete that, and we're back to only having our configuration. The last tools that I've been using with AI chats is inside of Raycast, which is a really good tool. And 
something that I should really make some more videos on. If you open up Raycast and you have these two different extensions, which I will link in the description, I have two different ones. One is for Olama and the other is for Gemini. In the first one, you can chat with Olama and you'll see that I have a previous chat here. I can search with command P and search for different chats. And then I have different actions for, you know, copying the answer, copying the question, searching for them. And then I can ask whatever question up here and have it run against whatever model. Now you can configure that with the different Olama model. So Olama manage models. And from here, you can see I only have one right now. I'm just using the latest 3.1 for Meta. And I can pull it, I can copy it, I can do whatever I need to, which is really helpful. The other extension I've been using is for Gemini. So if we did Gemini and AI chat, you can see I asked the same question. A lot of the same key commands are the same. So I can go to different chats, I can delete it, I can create a new one, and I can ask different models or tools what I need to. Those are all the tools that I'm using right now in my current workflow. I'd be curious to know what you're using inside of NeoVim or on your desktop to be able to chat with AI and get answers quickly. I'd really like to evaluate Copilot against Codium and see kind of if there's a clear winner. I've heard that Copilot is a little bit better, but something I need to research. I appreciate you watching and watching to the end of this video. If you have any suggestions on different tools, I'd love to hear them in the comments. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.